guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be digging up my salvia black and blue tubers. They were one of the annuals I grew, sorry, I dropped my gloves. They were one of the annuals I grew this year that did so well. I have some videos earlier that show them and we got our first frost and it's mid-November. So they handled the cooler temperatures well until it got super cold and now they look really terrible. I'm gonna show you what they look like. Okay, so here they are. It's amazing that yesterday morning, they were bright blue, beautiful. That one freeze, it always amazes me how they just die. Now it looks like an ugly sight, but they did amazing. As you can see, they're about three to four feet tall and wide. I planted three of them. Um, let's just take a little closer up look. And they had all those flowers just all over and they were just endless blooms from midsummer to now till November. 15th and they did so well I didn't have to baby them they just grew they were low maintenance and so they're an awesome annual that I'm gonna plant every year because they loved our hot climate it was a super big drought this year and they just did so well so it's pretty awesome and I just learned that you can dig up the tubers um, underneath the ground similar to dahlias I think dahlias are a little bit more tender this is the first time I'm gonna do it so let's just take a look at it so I'm gonna cut all this plant down to about two inches above um, each plant cut just cut off all the stems and then I'll dig them up for you and show you what they look like so the first thing I'm going to do is get my hedger so if you have pruners that's a great way to cut them down this is the way easier method if you don't have one of these I'd highly recommend it if you have a lot of things that you're going to need to be cutting down in the spring or fall I'm going to use this for my lavender in the spring I'm going to do a video about that but the first thing I'm going to do is just cut down all these stems on my black and blue salvia. Okay, so I got those all cut down and now I'm going to start digging them up. Okay, so I got them all dug up out of the ground. The second two are super easy. I was overcomplicating it. All I had to do was lift and they came out pretty easy. But let's take a look at these. I'm gonna bring them inside for you. I'm gonna clean them off, show you how to get them ready to be stored for winter so you can plant them in spring. Okay, so I brought my big root balls in. I, you know how I started with three? I started to divide them because they're way too big to store in here and I was not going to store it in a 20 inch pot. That would have been ridiculous. Um, so I got these little pots for five bucks at Lowe's and as you can see I had, I got three plants out of one. So now I have five. I'm going to show you how I divided it real quick with this one plant that I haven't divided yet. They're tough plants and they're pretty hard to cut through but it's working out pretty good so far. So I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to take my little saw blade and just saw through the middle of it. Okay, see how they're both intact? Each size has tubers and roots, so they'll grow just fine. They're kind of dormant now, so it's not really causing too much damage. So out of three plants, I got seven bushes so i'm gonna give or i got seven plants seven starts i bought four i'm only gonna keep two and i'll give the rest to my neighbors i'm really out of breath Whew. okay i'll show you the next step i'm just gonna fill my pots with some miracle grow potting mix just regular potting soil let's get one of them i'll show you how i do one of them soil and that's all you have to do all right I'll get these all filled up give you a little bit of tips and tricks at the end to keep them surviving in your house all winter long so you can plant them in spring Hey guys, I got my um, salvias in my pots. I'm going to show you what they look like. There is one, two, three, and four. I did cut down the stems slightly. They were a little bit tall. Um, it's really nothing else I got to do. I have my four divisions right here that I'm going to see if somebody wants. So 
I got eight plants out of three, which is pretty awesome. I saved probably 60 bucks. I don't necessarily love the idea of saving money as much as I do um, just having a more established plant because they get bigger faster and they're a little bit more mature than when you buy them new in the nursery. So that's a bonus. I'm putting them in my basement. I do have a little bit of a little window. It is really dirty. I almost didn't want to show you. <laughs> I'm not down here very much, but um, it doesn't get a lot of sun. It's just a little bit cooler. I'll water the plants once a month or just make sure that they don't dry out. So just check on them periodically and then that's all you have to do. Then they should do well. You can plant them in spring after the frost has passed and you should get beautiful, gorgeous black and blue salvia. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, give me a subscribe. If you have any questions, just comment down and I will get back to you. Thanks. Okay, bye.